Sasha Hausa na BBC ke magana akan mita 16 da mita 19 da mita 25 da kuma a tashoshin FM na wasu kasashen Afirka ko a shafin mu na bbchausa.com Masu saurare assalamu alaikum Haruna Shehu Tangazani ke fatan kowane lafiya a cikin shirin mu na karfe 8 da rabi a gogon Najeriya da Niger wato bakwai da rabi kenan a gogon GMT da Ghana To a cikin shirin namu na wannan lokaci za ku ji cewar shugaban hukumar lafiya ta duniya ya kira ga Isra'ila da tabari a kai kayan agaji zirin Gaza yana cewa a halin yanzu kusan ba iya kai agajin ga masu bukatar sa wasu fursunoni biyar sun yi garkuwa da gwamnatin ma'aikatan gidan yari a kasar Ecuador dan sandan Najeriya kuwa sun yi karin bayani dangane da wasu mutane da suka kama bisa zargin safaran makamai a jihar Plateau dake da alaka da rikicin da aka samu a jajjabarin Kirsimati kama su da makami da harsasai masu rai wajen guda dubu da bindiga kira AK47 da kuma AK49 fitaccen mawakin nan yar Najeriya Tiwa Savage ta zargi mawakin nan da video da cin zarafi da kuma barazana ga rayuwarta to za ku ji karin bayani kan wadannan da ma wasu amma duk sai bayan shan labaran duniya tare da Zulaiha Abubakar Kibiya Prime Minister Britaniya Rishi Sunak ya sanar da cewa za a bullo da wata sabuwar doka da za ta wanke daruruwan manyan ma'aikatan gidan waya da aka samu da laifi Mr Sunak ya shedawa majalisar dokokin kasar cewa ma'aikatan sun samu kansu cikin kuskuren shari'ar Britaniya karan farko a tarihi an dai tuhumi mutanen maza da mata da laifin zamba amma daga bisani aka gano kudaden da ake zargin sun sata sun yi batan dabo ne sakamakon tangardar na'ura mai kokolwa da dama daga cikin su sun yi fama da matsanancin talauci yayin da wasu ma'aikatan gidan wayar hudu suka kashe kansu a nuna damuwa game da wasu hukunce hukunce to amma wani ministan gwamnati ya mai da martanin cewa akwai al'amuran da suke bukatar daukar mataki mai tsauri Rahotanni daga Somalia sun bayyana cewa mayakan Al-Shabab sun kama akalla fasinjoji 8 da matukan jirgi mai saukar angulu na majalisar dinkin duniya bayan da jirgin ya kuskuren sauka a wani yanki da kake karkashin ikon masu ikirarin jihadi official with the army said it had developed a fault and was due to transport injured soldiers from the BBC yace jami'in soji ya bayyana cewa jirgin ya samu matsala ne yayin da yake hanyar dauko sojin da suka samu raunuka daga yankin Galmudug babu tabbacin an harbe daya daga cikin wasu fasinjoji biyu da suka yi yunkurin tserewa rahotannin sun kara da cewa al'amarin ya faru a yankin da gwamnatin Somali ta kaddamar da yaki akan al-Shabab har yanzu dai babu wani karin bayani a hukumance daga gwamnatin Somalia gwamman masu gadi a gidan kurkukun Ecuador na tsare a hannun wato fursunoni a gidajen kurkuku biyar da ke fadin kasar bayan wani kazamin fada an jibge daruruwan sojoji da yan sanda a Quito da Guayaquil da sauran birane yayin da ababan hawa da jama'a suka daina zirga zirga a tituna a group of masked gang members ambushed a state television station in Guayaquil holding a sign on BBC yace yan da ba sun abka gidan talabijin a Guayaquil inda suka yi garkuwa da ma'aikata sannan aka hasko su dauke da makamai kafin yan sanda su nasarar kame su sakataren majalisar dinkin duniya Antonio Guterres yace ta barbarewar tsaran ta tayar masa da hankali Rikicin ya samu asali ranar Lahadi bayan shugaban wata kungiyar hada hadar miyagun kwayoyi ya tsere daga gidan yari. Shugaban kasar ya ayyana dokar ta baci ta watanni biyu abin da yasa gungun yan daba jefa bama bamai da kaiwa gina gina hari da kuma abkawa dakin watsa shirye-shiryen talabijin yayin da ake tsaka da gabatar da shiri kai tsaye. Labarin duniya na zuwa muku daga sashen Hausa na BBC. Shugaban hukumar lafiya ta duniya yayi kira ga Isra'ila da ta bada damar kai kayan agaji Gaza. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus ya ce hukumar ta dakatar da ayyuka shida da ta shirye gudanarwa a arewacin Gaza tun bayan ziyarar da ta kai yankin makonni biyu da suka wuce. 
bombardment, restrictions on movement, fuel shortages, and interrupted communications. Sang hana hukumar lafiya ta duniya da abokan aikin ta damar isa ga mabukata Israila na ci gaba da shelar tana yin abin da za ta iya dan kayan agaji su shiga Gaza Dakarin RSF sun kai hari babban birnin kudancin Kordofan wani abu da ya nuna yakin ba sasar na tsawon watanni tara ya ƙara tsanani wani bidiyo ya nuna yadda fararen hula musamman mata da yara kanana ke tserewa da ke garin Dalant a cikin fargaba Akwa kuma wani bidiyo da ya nuna motoci dauke da dakarun RSF suna dauke da mu gamma kamai suna zirga zirga a cikin gari kudancin Kordofan dai ya shafe shekaru yana fama da rikici tsakanin kungiyar yan tawaye ta SPLM da sojin Sudan sai dai a yanzu rahotanni sun nuna cewa bangarorin da ba sa ga maciji sun hada kai domin yakar dakarun RSF kashin labarin duniyar kenan to an gaida Zulaiha Abubakar Kibiya da karantu labaran duniya daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC To yanzu kuma sai rahotanni wasu fursunoni biyar na ci gaba da yan garkuwa da wasu ma'aikatan gidan yaro gwammai a kasar Ikodo hakan dai ya biyo bayan rikicin da aka samu jiya talata a titunan birnin Kwito da wasu manyan biranin kasar abin da yasa jama'a suka kaurace wa tituna mazauna yankin da lamarin ya shafa sun ce lamarin ya tuno musu da lokacin annobar corona ga rahotun kalifa shehu dokaji an so margicin ne tun a ranar lahadin da ta gabata a lokacin da daya daga cikin manyan dilolin miyagun kwayoyin kasar ta Ecuador ya tsere daga gidan yaro mafi tsaro a kasar wanda hakan yasa shugaban kasar Daniel Nobo ai yana dokar ta bace a kasar na tsawon watanni biyu sai da yan daba kasar sun mayar da martani kan matakin inda suka kona motoci da kai hara hara kan gine gine tare da kutsawa wani gidan talabijin ana tsaka da watsa shirye-shirye kai tsaye tun shugaba Daniel ya umarci dakaran kasar da su kamo wasu yan daba 22 da aka bayyana su a matsayin mambobin kungiyoyin yan ta'adda shugaban majalisar dinkin duniya Antonio Guterres ya bayyana damuwar sa dangane da tabarbare wa tsaro a Ecuador tun bayan da gwamnatin kasar ta bayyana yaki da gungurka kun dilolin miyagun kwayoyi a kasar a cewar mai magana da yawun shugaban majalisar dinkin duniya Stephen Dujaric Antonio Guterres din ya damu matuka saboda halin tabarbare wa tsaron kasar da kuma irin tasirin da hakan ya haifar ga rayuwar yan kasar har kuma ya Allah wadai da manyan laifukan da ake aikatawa da suna rikici a kasar a gaida Khalifa Shehu dokaji da wannan rahoto to idan muka je Nigeria dollar Amurka ta kai naira 114 a farashin gwamnati ko da yake wasu bayanan ma na cewa farashin ya kai naira 1 da kusan 90 hakan dai yana nuni da cewa darajar naira ta fadi da kimanin kashi 29 a canjin gwamnati wannan dai shine karo na hudu da dala ta wuce naira dubu a farashin hukuma al'amarin da masana ke ganin yana tattare da gaggan matsaloli kan haka ne Abdul Salam Ibrahim Ahmed ya zanta da Qasim Garba Kurfi wani masanin tattalin arziki kuma mai hada hadar hannayen jari a Nigeria wanda ya fara da dubai da farashin dalar yake a yau bangaren gwamnati wato akwai abinda muke cewa Nigerian Foreign Exchange MFM to wannan yana sa 1914 amma idan ka je can kaso bayan fage ya kai 1245 to kuma duk lokacin da aka ce an samu bambanci mai yawa sai kamata bambanci ya wuce kishi biyar ba amma yanzu muna da sama da kishi 10 koma kishi 20 to me kake ganin ya sa har farashin naira ya fadi a bangaren gwamnati ina ganin al'amura ne sun mata yawa domin tabbas har yanzu wadannan refinery da ake so su fara yaki ba su fara yaki ba kaga ana bukatar dollar a shigo da man da za a amfani da shi a kafa sannan kuma ga danyen farashin petrol ya fara sauka to kuma saukar shi zai rage kudin da zamu samu to banda wannan ga al'amuran da suka faru ko a yau muna jin akwai wasu manya manyan board na wajen bankuna wajen guda hudu da aka ce tantar banka ta kasa da su wannan ma ba karamin tashin hankali yake kawo ban kaso kudi domin duk lokacin da aka ce an tsaye da board to CBN kenan za ta shigo kuma za ta sa wasu kuma saura ma za su sha ruwan jikin su to kuma wace illa hakan zai haifar 
ai babbai illa duk lokacin da gwamnati ta ƙara kudin farashin dala ina tabbatar ma waje sai ta ƙara biyan shi in kuma waje ta ƙara biyan shi to ina tabbatar ma wancan na waje shi za a yi kiri shi domin a yau in ka kage ana sai ta dala hatta kai 1245 to idan mutun zai sai dala a wannan farashin to duk kayan da suke kasuwa da wannan farashin za a gaida ta su shi yasa saboda mutum yana tunanin idan ya amshi kudin nan zai iya samun dala ya sake maido abin da yake da shi babu wanda yake so yau in yana da buhu hudu gobe a cikin komawo to karance abin da zai amfani da shi wannan farashin kuma duk inda kaje kasuwa za ta tada abuwa suna can ba to ya kake kallon wannan al'amari to wannan yana kala tabbatar da cewa har yanzu gwamnatin tarayya tana samun wahala samun kudin ga sawaje to kuma duk lokacin da ake samun wahala kudin waje dole a tsaga farashi saboda bukatun da ake da suna kasa game da kudin waje yawa kuma da ka ƙara farashi a gwamnati to ina tabbatar ma ita kuma wucan kasuwar za ta ƙara fiye da yadda gwamnati ta ƙara wato kasuwar bayan fage to yanzu akwai wata mafita kenan to mafita dai dole gwamnati ta dauki matakan da na farko za a samu dalan nan a wadata na biyu mun rage bukatun mu tun daga gwamnatin tarayya gwamnatocin jihohi duk wani abin da za a iya samun shi a nan kasai a dakatar da shi ba sai an neme shi da kasa waje ba wannan zai rage mana lokacin da ake cewa nairan mutahi dala ƙarfi ai motocin gwamnatin tarayya ke jo ke yin su da vetin duk wasu bukatun mu suna nan gaisa amma yanzu duk motocin da gwamnati ke hawa da yan majalisa na kasa waje ne babu wanda ake a sangulin nan ya nairan mu ba za ta lalace ba kuma gaskiya ai maganin saboda mutane suna samun kudi ta wacan hanya shi ke sa su zo sai da lafiya da ita ka kawaje malam kasimu garba kurfi kenan wani maslin tattalin arziki kuma mai hada hadar hannayen jari a Najeriya to har wa yau a Najeriya rundunar yan sandan kasar ta yi karin bayani dan gane da wasu mutane da tace ta kama bisa zargin safaran makamai a jihar Plateau dake da alaka da rikicin da aka samu a jihar rana 24 ga watan Disambar bara yan sandan suka ce an kama su ne bayan wata bayan hada wata runduna ta musamman ta hadin guyuwa da sarauwar hukumomin tsaro domin gano tushin wannan rikici ga karin bayanin da ASC Mustafa Sani daya daga cikin jami'an da ke magana da yawon rundunar yayi wa Khalifa Shehu Dokaji bayan an samu wannan tashin hankali da aka kashe mutane da yawa a jihar Plateau fita general na yan sanda kuma ya sa DIG wato muqaddisin yan sanda muqaddisin inspector general na yan sanda na Najeriya mai kula da bangaren samu bayane na sirri da su shiga su tabbatar da cewa sun samu bayane wanda za a amfani da su a tabbatar da cewa an kama wayanda suke wannan abun kamar wani irin abubuwa aka iya ganowa bayan an yi haka yanzu dai an kama mutane guda hudu daga can bangaren wanda suna da hannu dumu dumu a cikin wannan abun kuma bayan haka da abubuwan da ba zan fadi ba yanzu tunda har yanzu muna bincike da kuma mutanen da muka samu wanda suke safara suke mika wa inan mutanen ta boyayya hanya makamai domin su abin da za su yi a can wuraren an kama su da makami bayan makami kuma an kama su da harsasai masu rai wato harsacen da za a yi amfani da su wajen guda dubu da aka samu a wajen su an same su da bindiga kira AK47 da kuma kira AK49 a yanzu ana na ana bincike da mu a tabbatar kuma suna taimaka a wajen bincike domin samu tushen lamarin da ai magana abu to kamar yanzu wani karin matakai kuke dauka wajen dakile wannan matsala karin matakai da muka dauka shine kamar yadda na ga maka speaker na jalal na yan sanda ya tura jami'an tsaro wato yan sanda namu wanda ake sai wato yan sandan karta kwana da kuma yan sandan dakale terrorism wato anti terrorism da ake fadi da kuma yan sanda babbako wato yan sanda wanda za su simtiri a wajen da kuma wanda za su binciko bayanai na sirri domin su taimaka wajen yin wannan aikin bayan haka kuma muna da kyakkyawa laka don yan sami an tsaro kamar sojoji da kuma yan sami an tsaro domin 
a hada kai a tabbatar da cewa an yi wuftukawa hanci to kamar duk da wannan yunkuri da kuke tai na gano irin wannan abubuwa amma har yanzu al'umma na ci gaba da kokawa da yadda sai a ga abin ya koma kwango bakkon ba da ya tafi sai ya dawo ka sani cewa wayannan mutanen suna cikin gari suna da masu ba su bayanan sirri su ma kuma a cikin mutane suke so amma idan mutane suka ba da hadin kai suka gano irin wayannan mutana suka ga yawa jami'an tsaro aka youtube kar tunda kanan waje yadda ba za su samu bayanan sirrin da suke tunani ba kaga za iya dakile abun na dindinda Ala Mustafa Sani kenan na rundunar yan sandan Najeriya a hirsu da Khalifa Shehu Dokaji To yanzu karfe 9 ne saurakota a Najeriya din da Niger muna gabatar muku wannan shirin ne daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC Baya ga sauraron mu ta hanyar internet a bbchausa.com za a iya sauraron mu akan wayar salula a kowane lokaci ake bukata To nan gaba a cikin shirin muna dauke da karin bayani kan karar da Tiwa Savage ta shigar kan Davido a hannun yan sanda Amma yanzu bar mu je jihar Borno ta Nigeria inda rahotanni daga can ke cewa kalla mutane goma ne suka rasa rayukan su sanadiyar jerin fashewar nakiya da aka samu a yankin Gamboru lamarin da ya auku ne a gefen hanyar da ta hada jihar ta Borno dake arewa musu gabashin Najeriya da kasar Kamaru yankin da yana fama da hare-harin masu ikirarin jihadi na kungiyar Boko Haram da kuma Iswap ga rahotun da Zubairu Ahmad Kasarawa ya hada mana duk da yake ana cigaba da samun galaba akan makan kungiyar Boko Haram da IS masu ikirarin jihadi inda aka samu nasarar kwace wurare da dama da suke da iko da su cikin shekaru 14 da aka kwashe ana fafatawa a jihar ta Borno amma har yanzu suna kai hare-hare JPJP ta hanyar kwanton bauna a wasu wurare masu nisa a wannan fashewa a kalla mutum bakwai ne suka rasa rayukan su lokacin da ta babbar mota da suke jikita taka na kiyar da ake zargin mayakan ne masu ikirarin jihadi suka bizne a karkashin kasa a kawun kuniba da ke wajen garin na Gamboru wasu rahotanni daga majami'a tushe sun ce daga cikin fasinjojin motar har da wata mata da ya'yan ta guda biyu da ke kai hanyar zuwa Maiduguri domin halartar wani bukin aure Abdullahi Suleiman shi ne babban director hukumar ba da aga jin gaggawa ta jihar Borno Sema ya tabbatar min da aukon lamarin an samu labari a kan cewa akwai wata nakiya wanda anan hanyan jikwa wanda yadan wata mota ta saka aka dan samu abin nan amma bamu san details na shi ba a gaskiya wato ma nan details a hausan mai nemi zan ce ne eh cikakken bayani ba kowa ya wa bamu samu cikakken bayani ba a zuwa yanzu wadda ma idan abu haka ya faru dole ne sai mun je wurin samu su sojojin da suke bangaren wannan wurin tunda dai na kiya ne da aka ce yana nan a birne a kasa bamu za mu iya mu ce ga lokacin da aka sa wannan abun ba amma zahirin gaskiya ai in kaga zaman lafiyar da muke samu a yanzu Kanada ya bambanta sojoji wallahi kin iya gogodan karfin su ko a ranar litinin makon jiya ma wata karamar mota mai dauke da kan agaji ta taka na kiya lokacin da take kan hanyar zuwa yankin na Gamboru inda nan take mutum uku daga cikin motar suka mutu yayin da daya ya samu mamunan rauni jami'an tsaron soja dake aikin samun da tsaro a yankin sun samu nasarar tarwatsa wasu na kiya guda uku da aka bizne a karkashin kasa babban hanyar Gamboru zuwa Maiduguri na da matukar muhimmanci ga matafiya kasancewa da ita ce ta hada Najeriya da kasar Kamaru sai dai akan samu fargabanin da can na fashewar na kiya da aka bizne abin da kayan sanadiyar mutuwar mutane da dama Zubairu Ahmad Kasrawa BBC Hausa a Abuja Najeriya Shugaban hukumar lafiya ta duniya ya yi kira ga Isra'ila da ta bari akai kayan agaji a zirin Gaza yana cewa a halin yanzu kusan ba a iya kai agajin ga masu bukatar sa a can Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus ya ce hukumar ta soke tafiye tafiyen da ta shirye yi zuwa arewacin Gaza din har sau shida tun bayan zuwa ta na karshe makonni biyun da suka wuce ga rahotun Bilkis baban gida Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus ɗaya daga cikin jami'an kungiyar lafiya ta duniya WHO ya zargi Isra'ila da nana ta hana samun damar shiga cikin Gaza ya kuma koka kan tsananta lugudan wuta da hana kai komo da karancin man fetur da kuma rashin kyawun hanyoyin sadarwa Isra'ila dai ta sha nana ta cewa tana yin iya bakin kokarin ta wajen ganin ta bari an shiga da kayan agajin jinkai cikin zirin Gaza a halin yanzu sakataren harkokin wajen Amurka Anthony Blinken ya gudanar da zaman tattaunawa da shugaban Palestinawa Mahmoud Abbas Mr Blinken ya sheda wa shugaba Abbas cewa Washington ta goyi bayan matakai na zahiri wajen taimakawa kafuwar kasar Palestina mai cin gashin kanta 
ya kuma ce Mr Abbas ya tabbatar masa da cewa a shirye yake ya hada ziran Gaza da gabar yammacin kogin Jordan yayin da yake magana a kasar Bahrain Mr Blinken ya ce tattaunawar ta mayar da hankali ne akan yiwa shugabancin Palestinu garan Bawul We talked as well about uh, the importance of uh, reforming uh, the uh, Palestinian Authority Yace mun tattauna sosai game da muhimmancin yiwa gwamnatin Palestinu garan Bawul da salon mulkin Palestinu dan daukar nauyin jagorantar Gaza yadda ya kamata dan Gaza da gabar yammacin kogin Jordan su sake hadewa a karkashin shugabancin Palestinu a bayyana yake a gare ni cewa shugaba Abbas a shirye yake wajen samun cigaba tare da saka hannunsa akan duka wadannan shaidu hakan dai na zuwa ne a daidai lokacin da likitoci daga Burtaniya dake aiki a inda suka ce shine kadai asibitin da ya rage ke aiki a tsakiyar ziran Gaza ke bayyanawa BBC matakar damuwarsu game da marasa lafiya da ma'aikatan kiwon lafiyar da suka rage a can yayin da aka bada rahoton fadan da ke faru a tsakanin Isra'ila da kungiyar Hamas ke ƙara ta azzara a yankunan da ke kusa Deborah Harrington wata likitar kula da kananan yara da mata masu juna biyu dake asibitin Al-Aqsa Mataz a birnin Dar al-Bala tare da kungiyar likitocin bada agaji ga Palestinawa ta Burtaniya MAP ta ce fadan na nufin akwai matakar raguwar yawan adadin ma'aikatan kiwon lafiyar da za su iya aiki a asibitin a cikin makonni biyu da suka gabata inda har yanzu akwai marasa lafiya 600 zuwa 700 da ke jiran ayi musu magani a cikin asibitin a kullum to an gaida Bilkisu baban gida da wannan rahoto sai kuma jamhuriyar Niger inda majiyoyi a Niger din suka tabbatarwa BBC da cewa ba a sako mai dakin hanbararren shugaban kasar ba daga daurin talala wadansu kafafan watsa labarai ne dai suka ce an sako hajiya Khadija Bazum kwana daya bayan sakin dan tsohon shugaban kasar Salim tun bayan hanbarar da Bazum akan mulki dai matar ta sa da dan nasa suke tare da shi a inda ake masa daurin talala kafin a sako Salim din a shekarun jiya litinin Gara hotun da Usman Minjibir ya hada mana Sabanin rahotannin da wadansu kafafan yada labarai a Niger da ma wadansu kasashen Afirka ke yadawa cewa hukumomi a Niger din sun saki Hajiya Khadija Bazum Muhammad wato uwar gidan hanbararren shugaban kasar BBC ta gano cewa labarin ba gaskiya bane bayanan da na tattaro sun nuna cewa har yanzu matar tsohon shugaban kasar tana tare da shi a fadar shugaban kasar inda ake masa daurin talala bayan juyin mulkin soja a cikin watan Yulin Bara Hakan dai na zuwa ne bayan da dan Bazum wato Salem mai shekaru 23 a duniya ya shaki iskar yanci a farkon wannan makon inda kuma aka garzaya da shi zuwa kasar Togo. Wadansu majiyoyi a Niger din sun shedawa BBC cewa hukumomin soji ba su hana matar Bazum din fita daga inda ake tsare da mijinta ba saboda shi Bazum din kadai ne suke tuhuma amma a cewar su bisara din kanta ne ita uwar gidan shugaba Bazum take zaune da shi inda ake tsare da shi. To shin ko ina makomar hanbararren shugaban Muhammad Bazum Ali Dauda shine ministan shari'a